And uh, this has sort of been on my mind because I've been thinking a lot about the Western frame and how much it puts an emphasis on the rational, where we look to mm-hmm. science, evidence, logic to help us come to answers about the way we live our lives. And it's, it's lovely lip service, (laughs) but to me, it doesn't seem like that's actually how we live. It seems like the story is far more powerful and effective than the evidence itself. And when you power those two things together, you can create something super powerful. Um, Mm -hmm. if you can tell the right story, but, but even, even looking at evidence and science, to me, it seems like there's this game of taking data points and weaving a story out of them as opposed to just strictly showing what is objectively true by by the use of raw data and um, yeah yeah. for sure and um yeah so let's start there and see what your thoughts are that i have i have more that i i kind of want to pull out too but well there there's a there's a trend in uh marketing that i mean it's more than a trend basically all of marketing is data driven they want they want customer data they and even if the data is the the data customer data is so messy like you mm-hmm. don't have clean data sets there it's 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 a mess but anyway is but as soon as you get it down to a spreadsheet it looks like it's clean and organized and stuff <laughs> and then people start making decisions based on that um which is a whole different problem but but um but people in advertising and marketing, they're so wrapped up in sort of this data stuff. And then they, they try to um, then use that to sort of uh, craft design uh, narrative um, around that. And it it's, well, it's propaganda. <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel mm. about it. Mm. I, I, I don't like it for, I, I don't think it works really. I, th- I think there's, there's a, uh, you know, I, I don't have anything against data. Like it's, it's just information <laughs> that you can, you can, um, that, that may be useful because you may need to know something about your customers or the viewers or your audience that may be useful to know, but to craft something towards that, um, it, it usually ends up feeling, uh, mechanical and manipulative yeah and if it doesn't it's because something else um which i would maybe it'd be something like enchantment or some someone in the process who was actually creative inputted something in there that was that was true Mm. or or beautiful in a sense beyond the scope of the intended purpose of the advertisement um and 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 smart advertisers will know about this whole thing. So so there's a whole sort of or, or smart agency people, like these people working in these ad agencies. Right. The dumb ones will just use the data and try to manipulate it. The smart ones know that they have to like use the data as something to then point to something, I would say more beautiful. And so th- those would mm-hmm. be something like, you know, Nike's a really does a really good job at at that on on a pretty regular basis. Uh, just creating something that has like a um, some something that sort of there's a quality about it that that you can't quantify. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard to put into words. <laughs> and, and they're and they're 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 basically they're meeting they're making all their or they're achieving all their goals with as it as it um as they're achieving their goals that they want as as their data is showing but but they're also doing something a lot more which is they're creating sort of this that's the whole brand thing and the right. whole narrative thing that they're creating um, like Apple did that really well too. And they continue mm-hmm. to do that where it's like their phones haven't changed for <laughs> how many years yet. There's something about the brand right. and the lifestyle that they created with the images of their marketing that outperforms other things on the market. This is our first Renoir of the evening. 
This is a heliographer, which is an etching. It was hand pulled from a copper plate in Paris in 1919. We know this because that's what it says on the back where the certificate of authenticity is located. Just as lovely as can be. Look at the soft, delicate shading, very feminine. This is a limited edition. This is what you're looking for if you are a Renoir 100. fan. Oh my goodness, right? It's a buzz. Ooh, good. One of the few exceptions is the African pancake tortoise, which has a flat, flexible shell that allows it to hide in rock crevasses. Big swath of light to moderate snow from the Broken Bowl area down toward Kearney, Hastings, Grand Island. That is all moving in our direction. So I do think around seven to eight o'clock, the snow will become pretty steady here across the region with all this moving on top of us. And that's really gonna knock down visibilities. And uh, again, snow covered roads are gonna be definitely likely this evening, making it uh, even slippier or more, uh, more slippery than it is out there at this time. There's that uh, Mr. Clean, Procter & Gamble's new all-purpose liquid cleaner. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Floors, doors, walls, halls, white sidewall tires and old golf balls. Think stove, bathtubs he'll do. He'll even help clean laundry, too. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. But look at that. Yes, that seems even worse. How oh, about the I bottom of your machine? <laughs> is there any loose down there? I think it is. Oh, yes. definitely there. Look, certainly is. All that. Well, now, I have a suggestion. Why don't we all go and take a look at the towels that are coming out of the Westinghouse laundromat? Now, you ladies have all seen with your very own eyes just how much... Bug killers get Raid. First bug killer for house and garden. Raid house and garden bug killer. Oh, Timmy, what a mess. Mary Ann, what are you doing? I knocked them fell off. There it comes again. Oh, I'll get it. Honestly. In my opinion, fighting cavities is the most important thing. So we switched to Crest. The others we tried didn't have fluoride. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet. A place where animals play. It's called a forest, but every year we start forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof. Golden dry beer, friendly, fresh thing, and happily dry beer. Dry means clean, and it's clear. Dry means thirst quenching. I like the way you look. Do I look gorgeous? No, you look healthy. Your skin looks clean. With the zipper than it is with the snaps, mm -hmm. then there's zippers up the side so that the jacket will fit tightly around the hips, keeping that straight, sleek look that it should have. And very often you'll find a zipper hidden in the uh, arm. And Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You'll excuse the fact that I'm out of breath, but about 10 or 15 minutes ago, a tragic thing from all indications at this point has happened in the city of Dallas. Let me quote to you this. And I'll, you'll excuse me if I am out of breath. A bulletin, this is from the United Press from Dallas. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. They were riding in an open automobile when the shots were fired. The president, his limp body carried in the arms of his wife, Jacqueline, has rushed to Parkland Hospital. This presents the flight of Apollo 11, beginning 30 hours of continuous coverage of the lunar landing. Good day from ABC Space Headquarters in New York. It is July 20th, 1969. It's dawn, and Alpha 219 is commuting to war. 21 GIs bound for a jungle clearing a mile from the Cambodian border. American soldiers hiking their way through the sweaty jungles of South Vietnam, searching for an elusive enemy.
Dad? Yeah? There's uh, something I want to tell you. What is it, son? Well, Dad, you're my dad. And I love you, man. You're not getting my Bud Light, Johnny. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Ray, forget it, John. botanicals and organic herbs in pure mountain water. It will leave your hair looking beautiful. Yes! Yes! If you think that's great, try the body wash. Clairol's <laughs> Herbal Essences, a totally organic experience. At the tunnel by the Pont d'Alma, Parisians and tourists alike came in droves. Some came simply to stare but most came in a sort of spontaneous pilgrimage to the road where Princess Diana's car crashed and killed her. They leave behind flowers and small, touching individual expressions of pain and loss. This is a special edition of Nine News at Ten. The shooting at Columbine High School in Littleton. We received reports of numerous shots being fired inside the school. The suspects uh, had three grenades. All you hear is like firecrackers. It's exciting for me to be here. I want to thank Miss Daniels for being a teacher. I want to thank Gwen for being a principal. And I want to thank you all for practicing reading so much. It is really, really important. And this morning we do have a lesson that we will read with you, read for you. Good. And lesson 60 of our SRA reading program. In many ways more profoundly devastating is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. CNN now projects that Donald Trump will carry the state of Wisconsin. He will win Wisconsin with its 10 electoral votes. He's cracked the so-called blue wall that Hillary Clinton had tried. So is that a joint? It's or is it a cigar? Yeah, it's no. Okay. It's um, marijuana it's, it's inside weed. of uh, tobacco. Oh, okay. So it's like posh, posh tobacco yeah. posh. You never had that? Yeah, I think I tried one once. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm a clinical psychologist. Right, so you've, you're saying you've done your research and women are unhappy dominating men. I didn't say they were unhappy dominating men. I you, said it was a bad long-term solution. The breaking news, stay at home. That is the order tonight from four state governors as the coronavirus pandemic spreads. New York, California, Illinois, and Connecticut all ordering non-essential employees to stay home. Those orders cover 75 million people across the United States. America's got the greatest brochure in the world. A nation founded on the belief that all men are created equal. We are a nation of high-minded ideals. That's what we've all been sold. The nation erupted into scenes of chaos, <laughs> violence, oh my God. and widespread destruction into the early morning hours. Dozens of American cities up in flames after some protests turned into riots. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay?